how to get approved for grants. Grants with automatic approval from $2,500 up to $1 million in grants. Let's get started. I'm Rindy from Ash Rindy, and welcome to the number one community for real estate income, grants, and credit. So if you'd like to know how to easily get approved for grants, grants with automatic approval, make sure you watch the video to the end. Leave a comment below if you need help with anything. Millions of dollars in grants are being granted monthly. So how do you get approved for grants, and what is it costing you to not get access to free money? So with getting approved for grants, there are two sides. You and the grant. On the grant side, there are two reasons why grants have easy and automatic approval. Number one, the grant was created to be easy. So the grant source and the grant program created a seamless process for the applicant to make it easier for them to go through applying for the grant and either receiving the grant automatically or receiving the grant easily. And number two, the grant has run out of time. So there are grant program and grant sources that have to spend the money and they've simply run out of time. They've exhausted all their options as far as receiving applicants and they're looking for people to take the money, but they actually have run out of time and the money must be spent. And on the flip side, your side, getting approved for grants will depend on your business setup and your locations. And in our Grants Masterclass, we show you how to change your locations and get grant locations. And also, we show you how to actually create grant videos. These are two key pieces in order to be able to get approved for grants consistently. Here are a few examples of grants with easy and automatic approval. Number one, the Inc. File Fresh Startup Business Grant, $2,500 in grants. So Inc. File has three rounds annually for their entrepreneurship grants. They have several grant programs, and their Fresh Start Business Grant is a grant for startups and new businesses, so businesses that are brand new that have not been in existence. It's also for seasoned businesses, those businesses that have been in existence that are still struggling to be able to generate sales, so businesses that have been dormant, businesses that are looking to try to see how they can use grants to boost them forward. So this grant is actually a contest grant. It's an easy grant to apply for. And to qualify, you simply need to follow the following criteria. Number one, you need to be a U.S. resident and 21 years of age. Number two, you need to apply online at their website. Number three, you need to submit a short video that's two minutes long explaining your entrepreneurship journey and how you can actually use the grant to impact your business. And number four, you simply need to actually have a sample business plan, which we actually show you how to create and we have examples of in our Grants Masterclass that you can actually use to submit for this grant application. So along with the grant, the grant recipient will be receiving Inc. Files Goal Plan, which includes incorporation services and registered agent services. So the deadline to apply for this grant is on the next round, which is September 30th. You can apply by going directly to their website at inkfile.com forward slash entrepreneur dash grant. Number two, the Caress Dreams Fund, $5,000 in grants. So I fund women of color and Caress are once again administering the Caress Dreams Fund. So this is a fund that Caress established with $1 million to be able to help support women of color in their vision and their goals and expanding their businesses. So we shared here several times on my channel about the Caress Dreams Fund. And the way the program works is that 60 founders and women of color are selected and brought together through a crowdfund accelerator program. So they have two cohorts and programs on an annual basis, and they have 30 women per cohort. So they give each selected founder an annual coaching membership, a 12-week crowdfunding accelerated program, a $5,000 grant, and also networking opportunities. So to qualify and get approved for this $5,000 grant, the founder and the business must meet the following criteria. Number one, you must be a woman-owned business. Number two, you must be based in the U.S. and over 18 years of age. Number three, your business revenues must exceed over $10,000 on an annual basis. Number four, you must have a compelling digital presence. So they actually want to see proof that you actually have a compelling digital presence. And number five, you must submit your business pitch when you're actually submitting and applying for the grant via their type form. So the deadline to apply for this grant is July 8th. And you can actually apply for the grant and get started on this easy grant process by going directly to their website at ifundwomen.com forward slash caress. So when it comes to grants running out of time, I recently shared about the Providence Rescue Plan grant, which had less than three weeks to spend over $7 million. So in Providence, Rhode Island, they received over $166 million in ARPA funds. And when they actually administered the grant program and started the process in October of 2021, they actually attached a $5,000 tangible asset minimum 
to the grant criteria. So a lot of businesses actually saw that and they knew that they wouldn't qualify for that. So they actually did not apply for the grants. So that leading up to the time where the grant deadline was to happen in less than three weeks, they still had over 90% of the funds still available. That led them to actually relax the rules and change and revise the criteria, making the grants easy to apply for and get automatic approval. So this happens sometimes with grant sources like this where they actually have to change their stringent processes. It also happens with multi-round grants. Sometimes you actually have to just stay consistent and actually follow up with the grants because sometimes they have multiple rounds. You may not get the grant in the first round, the second round, but you may get it in the third and fourth rounds. It's all part of the same process of making sure that you not only follow up, but you understand the process of how grants work. And for grants like these that are must-spend grants, where they actually have to get the grant money out and they must spend the money before a deadline, we actually have them under the category of short-term grants. So we've actually included that in our annual members area in our resource center at my website, askrenny.com. All those grants that are actually in this criteria where they actually have run out of time and they actually have to spend the money, we've actually included them in our short-term grants section in our resource area. So you can actually check that out on my website. So these are actually for the grants. On your side, you really simply just need to be ready to be able to be in position to get approved for grants. And as I've shared many times here on my channel, your business needs to be properly set up. That's the key. We show you actually how to get the grant locations. We show you how to move to your grant location where you can actually be lucrative and have your business to start to receive this as a stream of income. Remember with grants, there's no limit on how many grants you can receive. This is one of the things that I always share. You don't have to actually have a business that's struggling. Your business can be successful. You can actually receive grants when your business is successful. As we've seen with some of these grant programs and some of the grants that I've shared here on my channel, they actually want revenues at $100,000 or more. If a business is actually successful but still getting and receiving grants, that should tell you that there's no limit to the amount of grants that are flowing around, both for businesses that are successful and also businesses that are struggling. It's all about the positioning and it's all about applying for and getting approved for the grant. In addition to that, you want to look at grants as an extreme of income into your business. You certainly want to do business sales. Make sure that you're actually generating income into your business because oftentimes that affects the grants. So if you want to know how to properly set up your business in order to be able to get approved for grants and also how to do grant videos where you actually are in the best position to get approved for grants, make sure you join us for our grants masterclass now open at my website, ashrenny.com. You can join us by simply going to my website, ashrenny.com, clicking on grants and getting started today. So if you have any questions of how to get approved for grants, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. You can also email me. My email address is askreenynetwork at gmail.com. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. Until next time, thank you so much for watching.